Welcome to Guitars and Bacon, my name is John, and today we're going to be unboxing the Muzzlady SM68 Mixer slash Audio Interface. Now before we get started, if you want to talk about music, gear, recording, or want to see me write metal music live, head on over to my live stream. I stream on Twitch every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 5 a.m. EST, that's 5 p.m. Philippine time. Oh, and it's free. I've been using my M-Audio M-Track for a good couple of years now, and it served me quite well. But at this point in time, I feel that I needed an upgrade. To be honest, I wasn't really quite sure if I was gonna buy the Muzzlady SM68 because, well, I'll talk more about it in this video right here, so stay tuned. I would have preferred to have gotten my hands on the Behringer UMC404, but the pricing at this point in time isn't exactly that good, most likely due to the pandemic. So I ended up biting the bullet, taking a risk, and grabbing that Must Lady SM68. I can only hope that it actually sounds good and does what I need it to do. Now why upgrade now? First I actually wanted to experiment on guitar tones using mic blending techniques, which I'll probably do another video on if this Must Lady SM68 actually turns out to be a good investment. Now the tone shaping experiments I'm looking to do is actually made possible by the mixer having an additional two more inputs for it. Now for the second reason, since I started streaming, I've been actually thinking of having effects on my mixer instead of having my computer produce those effects. Now this lets my CPU focus on maintaining my stream into a stable connection and making sure there are no lags happening in my stream or in the game that I'm playing. For the third reason, this mixer actually has separate phantom power switches for each channel, which makes it great because it allows me to mix a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone at the same time. Fourth reason is hardware EQ. This actually allows me to add more low end into my voice, making it sound sexier. The unit comes covered in a cardboard box and it's indicating that it would need a USB 2.0 port. And we are greeted by a manual at the top, which appears to actually be covered in plastic. As well as a foam-like lid. Now, it comes with a USB cable, which also appears to be a printer cable, again, typical of audio interfaces like these. This will basically power the unit as there appears to be no other power supply, like some mixers. The unit appears to be very snug inside and looks quite secure. And also covered in plastic to prevent possibly from any moisture or leakage. Checking out the unit, there is also a silicone preservative. It does feel quite nice and heavy from what I can see here. And at the back you can see the USB 2.0 port that goes to your PC. have it. Now there are some things that I was actually aware of before I ended up buying this unit. First is I can only route this to appear in two tracks at most in my DAW. Secondly, there are YouTube reviewers of uh, audio interface slash mixers uh, that are actually saying that when they're trying to record themselves with a play along track, they end up doubling the play along track, meaning the 
backing track actually gets recorded on the same track that you're recording your instrument. Now that's really bad. Now the second one is a really big issue because that would render the audio interface pretty much useless if I can't actually single out the track that I'm recording. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see what happens once I review the actual unit itself. Now leave a comment below if you already are using the SM68 or if you're thinking of actually buying one. Hit like if you liked the video, click that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification icon to be one of the first people to see the new video once it's out. One more reminder, if you want to talk about music, gear, recording, or want to see me write songs live, head on over to my live stream. I stream on Twitch every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 5 a.m. EST. That's 5 p.m. Philippine time. And again, Twitch is free to sign up to. See you in the next one.